What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the Contract DLC. In this video, we'll be customizing the brand new Comet S2 Cabrio. So this, of course, is the fourth drip feed vehicle we got for this DLC, or technically third, because they took away the baller and they're bringing it back later, but whatever. <laughs> this car released today, January 6, 2022, at about 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So this car is essentially the convertible variant of the Comet S2 we got from the Tuners DLC a few months ago, so... I mean, pretty much the same car. The only difference is that this one is a convertible. Uh, now, the Comet S2, the normal price was just under 1.9 million. Uh, trade price, 1.4 million. And then the S2 Cabrio, there's no trade price available for this car. So, the price is there you, about 1.8 million. That's the <laughs> only price. Um, so, I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is. I mean, it's still a really nice car. Um, although, I personally wish we would have gotten something else, not just a convertible version of an existing car, but, uh, you know, the S2 is still a very cool car. So, anyways, for those of you who don't know what this car is based on, it's primarily based on the Porsche 911 Cabriolet, specifically the 992. Very, very good looking car. Um, and I guess now we have both variants in GTA, the standard 911 and the Cabriolet. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got armor, brakes, bumpers. You have tuner bumper, retro, retro common SR. Pretty much all the same bumpers that we saw on the standard S2. Okay. Interesting though. So the tuner bumper on the S2, I, I believe it removed the front plate. This one keeps it. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I do like the, the standard, like the tuner bumper, which is pretty much like the standard one, but with the less fins in the grill. I guess we'll do that. Rear bumper, you have bumper grill delete. Okay. Half bumper, full bumper delete, primary diffuser, smooth, retro. Then you have the uh, SR spec rear. Love these options. Vented SR spec. Yeah, definitely the vent. I love the vent on the side there. Just looks really, really good. What's the difference between this one and this one? Oh, this one has the vents below the Fister logo. Okay, I like it without that. Uh, all right, we'll do that one. Engine, exhaust. So you have performance exhaust, crossover, uh, race exhaust. You have the turbo exhaust. So you have the turbos you can see there. Um, this, of course, was an option on the standard S2 as well. Um, I guess we'll do the turbo exhaust too, okay. Fenders, front fender vents, carbon vents and over fenders. Oh, these back here. It's like a subtle wide body kind of bolted on there. And then a carbon. Hmm. I guess we'll just do the carbon. Kind of like RS style hood. And secondary, carbon, smooth. Uh, SR spec, interesting. Vented hood, I love that one. Race car style, yeah, definitely this one. Kind of like GT3 uh, slash RS style, I love that. Okay, lights, throw some xenons on there. Liveries, so you got the black fister stripe. Retro stone guards, very cool. Comet S2 graphics, got the Red Fister track graphics, again, all of these are the same liveries and everything from the standard S2, pretty much the entire car, um, pretty much all the customization, Ron Racing, Redwood Fister, Rock and Roll Legends, you got Santa's new sled, so this uh, livery came out with the uh, festive uh, week, um, but we couldn't get the actual car until now. So you unlock this during the festive week, but they didn't give you the actual car to put it on until after uh, Christmas. I don't understand that. And they gave it to us in January. Uh, some Rockstar logic there. Anyways, um, hmm. I think I'll skip out on the stripe for now. I might end up doing this one. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll go back to that. Plate. I think I have a Porsche plate for this. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Respray. Okay. So, 
for this, instead of doing like a bright blue or a yellow or anything like that, I'm thinking of doing like a really nice uh, metallic gray. I think that will look really good on this car. Um, I was thinking a dark blue as well, but I think a nice dark gray will look great. So we'll do a black steel, uh, and then we'll do an ice white pearl. You can see it brightened up there, really nice dark gray. And I think it will look great once we do a nice set of black wheels. Secondary color for this car is the mirrors, as you can see. So boom, just the mirrors. Um, what's our trim color? See the interior. And Kremblum, okay. So I believe the S2, you could paint the brake caliper, the standard S2, but this one you can't change the brake caliper color. I'm, I'm pretty sure on the S2 you could change the brake caliper color. So that's that's a bit unfortunate there. So that's that's something that you lose. Um, hmm, I guess I'll just do black mirrors. I guess that looks pretty good. Uh, trim color was again as the interior. I don't know how I feel about doing like a nice like a custom interior for this against the gray. I feel like the red is nice, but at the same rate, um, I feel like it's too much red. I mean, when you look at this interior, I mean it's, the entire thing is. I think it's just a bit much. I don't know. I guess we'll do it, why not? Sadly, you can't paint the convertible top on this car, which is a bit unfortunate. Skirts, carbon, street, carbon street, arrow, flared, performance, okay. Carbon tuner, I like the tuner skirt, that's nice. Carbon tuner, and you got the giant race skirt. I guess we'll do the tuner skirt. Looks pretty good there. Splitters. Oh, look at that. Carbon splitter. Carbon race. Wow. Canards, GT, and endurance. I think the simple carbon splitter is nice. This one's a bit, I don't know, a bit too big for my taste. Um, we'll do the carbon splitter there. Rear spoiler. So you got the carbon stock deck lid. Smooth wingless. Carbon high ducktail and carbon high ducktail. Okay. Now I believe I think oh there's separate spoiler options for this car, I think. I like the Okay, we'll do this for now. I believe the S2 had the spoiler upgrade separate in comparison to the to the ducktail if I remember correctly. Um, but we'll do the high ducktail for now. Suspension, definitely need to lower this. Okay, transmission, turbo wheels okay um honestly i think i'm just gonna do the hyper fresh in the same color because the stock wheels of this car are identical pretty much to the hyper fresh wheels in the street category so boom exact same wheel and i think these in black look great but so boom do that in oh yeah very very nice windows i guess we'll do a light smoke i don't want to tense it too much and oh look at that huh so the S2 had, the standard S2 had more spoiler upgrades. This one just has the ducktails. Wow, this car is missing a few parts here and there. Plus you can't change the brake caliper color, a few other things. Hmm. Okay, well so far I like the regular S2 better. Alright, well let's see how it drives. Okay. Alright. So, first thing we gotta do is mess around with that convertible top. Let's see how the functions. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. All that's red, too, back there. Okay. Not bad. Okay, that does look... I have to admit, that does look really cool. <laughs> that the active spoiler comes up. This thing as a cabriole does look awesome. Wow. That is nice. And of course, this card doesn't have the... You know how they nerfed all the tuner DLC cars, for those of you who don't know. This one doesn't have that issue, because it's a brand new vehicle for the contract DLC. So I believe this one can still mid-drive speed boost or double clutch, unlike the other tuner DLC cars. Let's see here. Yep, there you go. Mid-drive works. So that's that answered there. So if you want a fixed Comet S2... Um, at least until Rockstar fixes it, or if they fix it, you're gonna have to get the Cabrio. Even though this car wasn't really that fast to begin with, but if you enjoy driving it and mid-driving it and all that stuff, um, you're gonna wanna have to get this one now. 
I like it though. I just wish you could paint the convertible top itself. That would be really, really cool. I know on the actual car real life you can do that. Um, but you can get some really crazy color combinations. Um, but this one you can't for some reason. Alright, let's pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. I mean, it should be exactly the same as the other one. Vehicle doors. Let's do all. Yep. Nice front trunk. The beautiful interior. The S2. That looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. That actually does look really nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I believe you can do the convertible top. Um, oh yeah, from here as well. So, up. Okay, that is sick for the interaction menu. That is awesome. I like that a lot. The texture quality on the top, though, is kind of weird. A weave, I don't know. But at least it's done properly. Not bad, Rockstar. Good job. Um, I just... I'm not too much of a fan of Reese getting the same car over and over again, if I'm being honest. Um, but... I guess it is what it is. If you've always wanted a Cabrio version of the S2 for some reason, now you can get it in GTA Online. Um, is it a good car? I, I you know, I, I'd say yeah, it's a pretty decent car. Um, but if you already have the S2, I, I would just stick with that. If I'm being honest, um, you have to really like the convertible version. You have to prefer it over the other one. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this one personally. I like the regular S2 better. I'm more of a, a coupe kind of guy, not really a <laughs> convertible kind of guy. So, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.